Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and I have to apologize. This week, again, there's two coding videos, no strategy videos, and that's because it's Black Friday and I'm overwhelmed. Not to worry, this video should save you a whole bunch of money. I am going to give you a heads up though. If you're using the Boundless, the Express, or the Narrative team, this will not work. I'm sorry, I'll make another video about these teams and this code. If you're using the Brooklyn team, it will work for you. However, you have to put the variant option as a dropdown and not as a swatch. That's kind of the annoying thing about doing these YouTube coding. I try to give one tutorial that matches a million different sites. I'm doing my best, I'm sorry. This video, I'm gonna explain to you how you can save money on returns because people click on the image of a different size of your product, but the size variant picker doesn't automatically change, and so they add the wrong product to their cart, and they ask for a return. Seriously, this is super common together with people just forgetting to select their size. One of the big issues is really people clicking on the image and assuming that their variant picker automatically adapted. Well, it did not. And so they end up ordering the blue t-shirt while actually they clicked on the red t-shirt and were hoping to get the red t-shirt and that gives you returns, that costs you money and that's just a hassle. Okay, let's head to the online store. Let's look at our demo store right here. And welcome to our demo store in here. I think I have a product set up just for this. It's called colors right here. And you see, this is the black color in a size small, but if I click on the red, ooh, I really like the red, buy it now. But the color picker didn't change. It's still on the black. Of course, if I click the yellow, then it changes. But you know, if I click on the actual images, it doesn't change it. Fun fact, this is actually one of the test questions my team had to do in order to become a developer for ecomexperts.io because it doesn't work on certain teams. There is really a little twist to it that you gotta understand. Now they can just look at this YouTube video and they can go in the description down below and click on the link and there is the exact code that you have to copy and paste in your team that I will be doing with you right now. Okay, let's get to work. So first and foremost, whenever we touch code, I said this a million times in my videos, you're going to have to duplicate your live team. So you're gonna click on actions and duplicate. This is to make sure you have a backup in case you screw something up, you don't have to call a developer. You can just revert to the old version that still works fine because you haven't touched it. Once that is done, we're going to go into the code. So we click on actions, edit code. Welcome, welcome, bienvenue on the code side of your Shopify store. So it looks intimidating, but it really isn't. You get used to it. You scroll all the way down and you go to assets. In the asset folder, it's going to depend which theme you have, but you want to look at something general, like theme.javascript. You're looking for the .js uh, extensions. So theme.javascript, maybe yours is a little bit different. It might say theme.js.liquid, maybe, maybe it's something like general.js, depending who worked on your theme. Just make sure that it's something general, like theme, not like gift card, which is something specific, or lazy slides, or password. No, no, something general, but usually theme.js should be there. When you find the theme.js, which by the way should also be the biggest file of all of the GS files, um, you're going to scroll all the way down. We're gonna go downtown. I can't actually put the actual music because that will be a copyright infringement. Uh, anyway, you go all the way down, you hit enter a couple of times, so you create those white lines. And then you're gonna type in forward slash two times and you will see the line will become gray. You will type in here code for making sure when clicked on an image, the correct variant is selected. So what I just did there is I added a piece of comment. This is for any future developers that walk into your store and that look at the code, they immediately know that code block is for that purpose. 
If you want to save a lot of development time and money down the road, comment your code, please. Once that is done, you can go down the description next to the subscribe button. There is a link and there is a big block of code in that document. You just copy it and you paste it right here. Boom. Did I mention that the description is next to the subscribe button? It would really help, really. Anyway. Once you have done that, you just copy paste the code. Make sure it starts with a constant select variation by clicking image uh, and it ends with like this curly bracket at the very end. That way you know you have everything. You save this and that's it. Let's see if it works. We go to online store. Copy of the debut team, we do actions, a preview. We go to the catalog. We go to my color products. And normally, if now I click on red, it should select the red one automatically here. Let's see if that works. Boom. Who the boss? Boom. Who the boss? And I turn it back to black and it's black again, and then I turn it to red, it works. Isn't that fantastic? So now that we know it works, we can just click on actions, we can click on publish. Are you sure you wanna publish? Did you double check to make sure everything works on the team? Uh, yes, we did, sir. And we hit publish and we're good to go. Now we're live and we're ready to save a whole bunch of money on those returns. As a quick FYI, some of people might ask, well, how do you know that the black variant is attached to the black image? Well, if you go into your products, make sure to add the picture in the variant section and not in the general section. So we added the picture here next to each variant and that way Shopify knows that this variant has this picture. There you go, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope it will save you a little bit of money on those returns that were done by mistake. I'll look into making this exact same coding video for the themes that this didn't work on. Um, and then for the rest, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to check out the strategy videos, the app review videos, because it can save you a whole bunch of money. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. We specialize in Shopify and I'll see you in another video. Adios!